Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd and uh, today I'm doing a demo of a vintage guitar for a difference. Um, as you know, usually I review uh, cheap new guitars. but uh, I thought since I did a review on the brand new uh, Hackstrom Swede that I should show you this. It's a vintage Hackstrom guitar. It's uh, the H2N from, uh, yeah, it's from the mid 70s uh, somewhere. And uh, well, it's made in Sweden, so <laughs> that's why it makes it special. And that's why it suits the Swedish guitar noir, of course. It even says it's a sticker here saying that it's made in Sweden. How cool is that? Uh, okay. Let's talk about the guitar then. Uh, it's an uh, old mahogany guitar. It's a mahogany neck, uh, mahogany body. Uh, it has this nice sherry color to it. And uh, it's a bolt-on. Three uh, bolts, uh, bolt-on guitar. And it's rather odd because on other three bolts the next you'll find the, the two ones up here and the single one down there. But this is different. But yeah, it seems solid and it, I don't know, it has kept the guitar together since the 70s, so well, they seem to have done it right. And uh, yeah, it's not a resonator wood uh, fingerboard, it's a regular rosewood fingerboard. And we have this, uh, the H expander thing going, uh, uh, watch my review on the suite to learn more about that um yeah it's a real nice guitar it has uh, two humbuckers and that's what i suppose the two in the the h is just hagstrom and this is two and it has a very special vibrato um it's well yeah it's a knife edge pivoting on i don't know it's like one <laughs> not two point it's like one point but since this is one plate and uh, and there's a spring in the back so and uh, well it's like other tremolo systems from the 70s it doesn't really work uh, since if you pull it just a little bit it doesn't really affect anything if you pull it too much or more uh, it uh, sends the strings too far uh, out of tune and they can't return because they get stuck on this uh, yeah, version of a tunomatic bridge uh, so yeah but it looks kind of cool if you don't use it and yeah it's supposed to mimic of course an SG we have a double volume double tone and uh, as a comment to my Swede review, these tone pots actually work, so I was right, the vintage ones do work. And it's a mysterious switch up here. Please someone tell me what this does, I can't hear a difference. Um, yeah, that's it, extremely thin body and the neck is by 70s standards rather slim as well. Yeah, it's a vintage guitar and uh, the pickups are rather bright and not by today's standards high output at all. So they they suit the vintage vibe of the guitar. Uh, so it's, I don't know, it fits best with a clean sound. So it just sounds good. There's just a little breakup. Okay. Stop talking about sound. Let's hear it. Uh, yeah, I'll start in the clean sound. And yeah, as I said, you get a very cool vintage kind of clean sound of this one. And uh, almost single coil style, actually. Uh, they are that bright. And since you haven't got this high output, it's yeah, 
It almost like a single chord. Okay, here are some clean sounds. Okay, just, just here we're a little bit of overdrive. Uh, yeah, see if it fits styles that suit other guitars with, you know, Sherry Red SG style guitars. It's got vintage tuners, but they actually feel rather solid and uh, yeah, still doing a good job after all these years. Um, yeah, it's an old guitar. Uh, actually, the only time I've seen anyone play this um, in Sweden in later years was a hardcore band. Both guitarists had these kind of guitars and I suppose it was the cheapest thing you can buy that was vintage but um but uh, since they have this the pickups have a very high high end thing going it's um i think rather good for uh, i don't know rather this, this kind of disturbing distortion hardcore thing 
I'll just show you something with more gain. <laughs> Okay, yeah, there you have it. It's a vintage bargain. I think these are some of the cheapest vintage guitars you can buy, at least in Sweden. But I think they are rather cheap abroad as well, if you can find one. Um, yeah, it's the Hackstrom H2N. And uh, yeah, this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd. See you soon. Bye.